all amazing people, let's solve this math Olympiad cubic equation together. Why is it cubic? It's because the highest power of n is 3. And what does that mean? It means you are going to have three solutions for this. Now, one of the cases is that you may likely have the three solutions to be all real numbers. The second case is you having the solution to contain one real and two complex. Notwithstanding, it has to be three. Now, join me as we discover the kind of solution we have in this question. So we do it together. We begin with solution. So let's bring this down. We have n squared minus n cubed is 150. Now you're going to ask yourself question. What is that number? Are there two numbers you can add to give you 150? Now out of these two numbers, because this power is 2 and this one is 3, out of the two numbers you are going to get here, one can be expressed in e squares and the other can be expressed in e cube. What are the numbers? The numbers are 125 and 25. If you add these two, it gives you this. Now, let's check for 125. 125 can be expressed in cube form to be 5 times 5 times 5. If you multiply this, it gives you 125 and it's the same as 5 raised to the power of 3. Now, what about 25? You can have 5 times 5. If you multiply it, it gives you 25 and it's the same as 5 squared. You see, the cube for this and the square for this. So we are good. So what it means is that this is the same as 5 cubed and this is the same as 5 squared. So let's work with it. So what we are going to do now is we are going to now have n squared minus n cubed is equal to this. We are going to replace it with 5 cubed plus 5 squared. Now what do you do at this point? You are going to collect those ones of the same powers together. So let's do it. So if you are going to do you are having n squared, this is 5 squared, okay? And it's taking positive. So we're going to subtract negative, subtract 5 squared from both sides. So if you subtract, it's going to give us negative 5 squared. So here we're having negative n cubed, okay? Then because this is positive, you also subtract, okay? So you have negative 5 cubed. And when you do that, the whole part here becomes what? Zero. So what do you think you should do? We are going to group them now in pairs. So we now have n squared minus 5 squared. You group it. For this, you are going to factor out negative sign. So when negative divides this, it gives you n cubed. When negative divides this, it gives you positive 5 cubed and is equal to zero. So what do you do? Quickly remind yourself of this algebraic identities or formula, which says when you see something like this, remember that a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b and a minus b. This is what we call difference of two squares. Difference of two squares. Did you see it? So this is going to guide us. Then the next thing is for this, remember for sum of two cubes, which says if you have this, is the same as a plus b into a squared minus ab plus b squared. So this is going to be another guide. Now let's use this into this. So we're going to have for this, this is our a and this our b. So we're having n plus 5 and n minus 5 for this, okay, using this. So we now have minus, let's introduce another bracket. So for this, let's apply this here. We're going to have, this is your A, this is your B. So we have N plus 5. I hope you are with me. Then we have, open another bracket. Your A is N, so it's to be N squared minus 5N, okay? It will be 5 times N. For your B, B squared is 5 squared. And it's 5 times 5 to give us 25. I hope you see that. And everything is equal to 0. So what do you think we should do at this point? What we need to do is that you should look at this. You'll see these two are together, multiplying themselves. And these two are together. So what you need to do is to factor. 
Okay, so we're going to factor what is common. And if you look at this, you notice that n plus 5 is here and is also here. So we factor it out. Then open a bracket. When this device this, you'll be left with n minus 5. Interesting. Now you have, bring down your minus sign. If you use this to divide this, this goes off. So you'll be left with, remember it's in bracket. So you have to put it in bracket, okay? Because of this negative sign. So we have n squared minus 5n plus 25. Then everything is equal to zero. Interesting. So what do you do again? You have n plus 5. Let's simplify the brackets, this one. So we have n minus 5. This negative sign will open up the brackets, okay? So ensure to open it carefully. So if you do that, negative multiplies this is negative n squared. Negative multiplies negative. You have positive 5n. This will give us negative 25, and everything is equal to 0. So what do you do again? You are going to still simplify this. So if you do that, you are going to have, this is going to give us n plus 5 into, you collect, simplify this, you have negative n squared. Then this is n plus 5n. We give us 6n. Then here is negative 5 negative 25 will give us negative 30 is equal to zero. So what do you do again? You are going to, you will notice that this has formed a quadratic. So we can now say that if these two, if A, B is equal to zero, it means that A is equal to zero and B is equal to zero. So this means that N plus five is equal to zero. So what it means is that you are going to subtract 5 from both sides. If you do that, you are going to have n as 0 minus 5. So n will be negative 5. This is the first solution, okay? Now let's go for this. So what we have there is negative n squared plus 6n minus 30 is equal to 0. Now, most students don't like working with negative signs, especially when they begin it. So what you need to do is to divide each by negative. Okay, so divide this by negative. So we're going to divide by a negative sign. So if you do that, what does it mean? Let's move it here. So it's going to give us, this is going to give us now. So we have, if you divide this by negative, it becomes positive n squared, negative 6n, negative divides this will give us positive 30 is equal to zero. So we're going to solve this quadratically. And at this point, we are going to use the formula method, which says if you have ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, then the x will now be negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. I hope you are there. Remember at this point, if what you are doing is really interesting, you don't forget to tell us how much in the comment section. It helps us to do more. And remember, you can help us to share this so that the algorithm can help fetch it and get it to those that need it more. Thank you very much, and let's continue. So we are going to now have it that you notice that the A here is the coefficient of n squared. So our A is 1, OK? So your b is negative 6. Let's circle it. So your b is negative 6. Did you see it? And your c is 30. So we're going to plug it into this formula. And if you do that, we're going to have n is equal to negative, our b is negative 6 plus or minus square root of negative 6 squared minus 4. Our a is 1 and our c is 30 all over two times our a is one. So let's simplify this. You are going to now have, this is going to give us n as six plus or minus. We now have square this, it gives you 36. Okay, then if you multiply this, it's going to give us negative 120 all over. Multiply this, you get two. So let's simplify again. So this is going to give us our n is equal to six plus or minus. If you subtract this, it gives you square root of negative 84. Yes, we are right. So this gives us negative 84 
all over too. You so you notice that we have a negative sign inside the square root and that has made this to become, it's no longer a real number, okay? So this has become complex. And what this means is that this is the same as six, six plus or minus square root of, this is the same as negative one multiplying 84. And that is over two. And this negative one, we use an imaginary unit, which is I to represent negative one. So let's apply it here now. We're going to have, this is going to give us n is equal to six plus or minus. Remember the rule that says square root of a, b is square root of a multiply square root of b. So when you have it together, you can write it as square root of negative one multiplying 84 all over two. Did you see it? So what does it mean there? We're going to have n as six plus or minus, this will be replaced with i, okay? Then we have square root of 84 has a perfect square in it and it is four multiplied by 21. And this is all over two. So the square root of four, bring it out, it becomes two. So we have plus or minus two. So we have two i, you leave this in the root because it's not perfect. And this is all over two. Did you see it? So we're going to have in conclusion, our n is going to give us, you can factor out two. That's divide this by two. So you divide this also by two. And if you do that, your n is going to give you three plus or minus. This we cancel, we have i square root of 21. So you see that we are having two values of x of n here, okay? So what it means is that this is the first solution. So let's take it off. So we have n is three plus i root 21. Then we also have n is equal to three. This is minus i square root of 21, okay? Then we also have n as negative five. Now, these two are the complex solution, whereas this is the real solution. Now, we're going to do a little check, okay? But we're going to check with the real. You can try the complex and let's know your thoughts in the comments. So let's really check if this answer is the same, is correct. So to do that, you're going to have, put the value of n as negative five here. Remember, we have this. So let's see if it will give us 150. So we have negative five if you square it minus negative five qubits. Negative five squared is negative five times negative five, giving us positive 25. Then when you square cube with, when you cube this, remember the negative sign because it's cube returns. So you're going to have 125. To open up this, you multiply. So we have 25 plus 20, 125. If you add this together, it gives you 150. Did you see that? So what it means is that for using n as negative 5, it gave us a correct answer. Kindly check this and let's know your answer in the comments. And I hope this helps you a lot. Let's know how much and don't forget to subscribe for the more you'll get. Give this tutorial a thumbs up and share with your colleagues. See you next time.